The election was also hampered by significant issues regarding the independence and the transparency of the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission, ZEC. The ZEC missed opportunities to increase public trust in the integrity of voting and to result management. The initial failure of ZEC to provide the critical electoral material, notably paper ballots, which resulted in many polling stations opening with severe delays <coughs> late into the night or next day, led to an increasingly tense atmosphere in some locations. This was mainly observed in urban centers like Arara or Bulevayo, but also in Manicaland. Overall, the UOM commands, however, the large number of voters who remained in queues for extensive times to exercise their right to vote. ZEC's communication regarding delays, its reason, and the actual voting hours was insufficient. While ZEC's pre-electoral preparations went largely according to schedule, court disputes over candidate registration caused delays in ballot printing and also impacted postal voting. Nevertheless, ZEC promised repeatedly that all systems are go. This was not the case on election day and resulted in a second day of voting. Furthermore, ZEC did not consistently address public concerns related to constituency boundary delimitation, voter registration, candidate registration, as well as ballot security. For instance, the final list of polling stations was only made public on election day. Voter registration was a significant point of contention. ZEC did not publicly disclose details prior to the this election on its, of its efforts to verify the accuracy of the voter registration data. Before elections, ZEC did not provide fully analyzable electronic copies of the voters' role to civil society. <clears throat> 